Sometimes I wish I could go back And other times I don't Usually accept my losses Other times I won't Because of pride alone I suffer twice as long Put myself in this position Stop to die alone <laughs> Hey yo You're the reason this division Would ever seem to be weak, bitch And after this battle's over You gonna think you've seen Jesus See, I'ma leave this team bleeding With no remorse I'm talking straight guillotine treatment his head's gone. I get the blood flowing when I burst in. He came here shook, just knowing I'ma murk him. This is my debut. He's four battles deep. It's kind of funny how we both going for our first win. <laughs> so quit with the gunplay, fuckface. You spitting them lies. You're not a G, but you're probably a chick in disguise. See, I've been nice, so stop acting like it's a surprise. And when I'm looking at you, it's the only time you'll see the bitch in my eyes. <laughs> and I'm just letting the folks at home know I'm a faux show ripper. Because don't nobody want to hear your whack freeze or your homo written. He keep up with the talk, I get one of my boys to let the faux faux hit him. And leave JoJo Simmons with his whole dome missing. Oh. <laughs> uh, you're too, whenever hey, you're yo, I got a big feeling this jumps off. Y'all really think I'm gonna lose a battle to Chris Phillips from Jump Off? <laughs> I'm gonna rap and rip this man. Fuck New Era, should change the name to Grind Time Sacrificial Lamb. Because I'm the one that remains true. Everybody you lost to is whack, so what the fuck does that make you? And I don't know whether you 0-4 or 0-10. Really, it's all the same in a way. Because that zero in your win column ain't changing a day. Because this here is the end of your life. And one punch will take his face off like Vega after winning a fight. Mm. And I would tell you who you look like, but that'll just make me seem tasteless with rhymes. Plus, the only thing you look like to me is a waste of my time. Because we all know, you ain't on the block and don't aim guns. And whether there's a beat or not, I'm going to rock it the same, son. But you ain't rapping sick, you're whack at this. So pack your shit, you faggot bitch, and then back to whichever closet you came from. <laughs> all right. Look. You're not the rapping type, cuz. Only thing you do in battles is lose and bite lines from smacking Fight Club. I crack this my guy's mug, kill him with terror. So pay attention, cuz y'all witnessing the end of an era. And don't talk about the big text you gripping. Bitch, you suck. You should go join the Midwest Division. <laughs> cuz you as dumb as a rock to try to battle me. Homie, I will run through your block and your faculty. You ain't flowing sharp, you're like Owen Hart. Cause when you come off the top, it's a tragedy. Oh! <laughs> Look, you're losing, Sonny. We know you ain't rich, cause judging by your battle with Vinny, you don't know what to do with money. I think this weak bitch is high. Two options for you after this. Stop rapping or eat shit and die. See, I make each point when writing these fine rhymes, but this weak boy is just dying to find shine. You just lost again. So how the fuck does it feel to be the Detroit Lions of grind time? Oh. <laughs> and deep in the cemeteries where I'm leaving this fella buried, you the reason the tryouts in this league seem to be necessary. Oh, no. <laughs> Look, your so-called career is over today. So just try not to choke and remember the shit that Mosh told you to say. Oh. Your name's money, but you hardly pay. How the fuck are you a man? Your voice matches Lil' Farnham's age. Oh. Hey, I'm telling y'all, this hate is fake. Bitch, you have the intelligence of Flavor Flav and the relevance of bathing apes. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. He acts hard in battles, but gets in the booth and makes auto-tune songs that he likes to dance to with his mama's shoes on. <laughs> so don't ever try to come up on a G-tip, cause you a pinata, homie, you strung up on that sweet shit. You just an irrelevant option to what's better is rocking. As much as you lose, it's like you destined to not win. But see, Mr. Seven is popping. And the way I burn money, y'all gonna swear I got a fetish for shopping. <laughs> You're done, rookie. This cat reminds me of Mystique from X-Men. Got everybody else's style mixed into one pussy. Oh! <laughs> now, I respect Tampa MCs. A lot of people from your town are real. Which makes me wonder why you don't have an ounce of skill. You live in Newport, Richie. Home of basically the whole white race and low crime race. I saw this bitch in the commercial like, I love my town, cause I know I'm safe. <laughs> hey, come on dog, it ain't murderous there. How bad can it be? My little cousin has baseball tournaments there. <laughs> hey, so you be chilling with the kind of shit around his white friends, dropping in bombs every chance you get. So it looks like drama from Robin Big 
does the shit that his mama and papa did, like worship Hitler and burn crosses with Nazi kids. Whoa. See, that's why this liar is so trife. How the fuck are you racist against the people you try to be most like? Oh. Hey, hey, hold up. Hey, hold up. And you have a Pinocchio schnoz. And the more you lie, the bigger it grows. How the fuck did you end up with Jay Leno's chin as a nose? <laughs> Look, you're not hot, money. You don't find it weird that nobody here likes you except your chop shop buddies. Maybe it's because you ain't street. Or it might be because you read Tampa on camera knowing damn well you from St. Pete. And you know it's true. My whole life I was told to prepare for the worst. That's why I wrote for you. Hey, you see, you hardly spit intelligence. And the way I take money from grind time, y'all should charge me with embezzlement. You see, I'm something worse than gangster. And just to prove my point, I'll punch this worthless wankster and then fuck his girl Topanga. <laughs> You look like Corey Matthews. And on behalf of everybody here, fuck you and your corny ass crew. So I should introduce y'all to my all laid clique. That'll leave you in your front yard laid stiff on some mob gay shit. Ooh. Hey, so just go home, Vince. I think this faggot should be named Miss Rabbit, because he's Grind Time's most known bitch. If quitting is your next step, take it. Cause you're nothing but a redneck racist who only gets fan mail on a death threat basis. I'm rocking him to sleep. This dude is so racist, the only things he likes about black people are the palms of their hands and bottoms of their feet. Oh. Hey, fuck your hustle fam. You remind me of Katana. Cause you a bitch that's only got a couple fans. Oh. Hey, so I'm gonna burn you. And when it comes to battles, he calls Marsh his double play. That's who he turns to. Huh. But me, I'm not Invincible Hulk. But you gotta be a female, because your voice has more high pitches than an intentional walk. <laughs> you're not a hood rapper, you're just a good actor. I'm willing to bet your dad is a mechanic and your mom looks like one of the bushwhackers. <laughs> hey, but try me, homie, I'll show you what this white's like when it's fight night. Have you all fucked up getting cast in the ER like Makai fight? And I spit the sickest shit, so my rapping excels, and if ignorance is bliss, you must be happy as hell. Time! All right. See, I came here intending for a war. But you cool with the judges and the hosts, so you more focused on being a member of the board. But you'll never make it, cause you're garbage, you ass. So I'ma stab you with my grandfather's cane, and you'll really be a part of the staff. Ooh. Homie, I got the whole floor of the nervous. They ain't tell you this ain't a battle, this is your memorial service. Ooh. I mean, what would this stupid hoe battle me? When he raps, he gets less reactions than a dude with no allergies. <laughs> so that's why I'm coming after him. We both got the same record, bitch, but after this, you're gonna be two and one, like a pregnant chick that's having twins. Ooh. So your winning streak is gone tonight. Just to prove you're hardly nice and that politics can only get you so far in life. But if this wax spit a rose through my ozone street, trying to start shit, you're gonna get capped quicker than a dolo beat. So I hope this hey, hey, so I hope this punk is ready, cause I'm about to send Chavo Guerrero Jr. to see his Uncle Eddie. <laughs> Homie, I'm scorching hot. If you spit what I spit, it would melt your face. And I know you say you don't kiss ass, but that dirty Sanchez doesn't help your case. <laughs> hey, he walked in on his girl giving me cabeza and chocha, and I said, boy, shut the door and cayeta la boca. Oh! And it must suck to know you're gonna likely lose when I'm sniping you, but you're just gonna have to roll with the punches like bison do. And I seen your past battles. You're never lethal, and all that stuff. St st Duttering got you sounding like one of them special people. And it's mad sloppy, B. All that filler just for you to pause right before the punch, like the end in the Rocky Three. <laughs> but ain't no duck in this right cross. And what's crazy is his real name is Alfredo, but his girl's the one known for being covered in white sauce. Oh. Hey. Hey. 24, you can bet he's a boss. See, this cat's trying to be immortal, but his technique is off. Oh. Hey. Hey, and you're not a veteran, you're lame. And after this, you're gonna be M.I.A. Like I jacked the first and last letters from your name. Uh, hey, peep it. <laughs> Hold on. Start the clock. Hey. Yo, tighten up. Hey, see, I don't know why Am's dissing. Cause if the fans listen when Am's spitting, ambition is what Am's missing. See, that's cause Am's whack. And I'm like a train engineer on strike. I ain't trying to listen to Am tracks. Oh. Hey. Why y'all amping up, Mr. Am? 
amethyst When you know I got the ammunition to sit this amateur in an ambulance And I spaz on you with ample hate Jam a blade in your neck and amputate They brought this sniper in the drop, guys We don't want you in Orlando Cause you're just fucking up the ozone like nitrogen monoxide Hey, but let's keep it lyrical Cause if I actually hit you Best believe you kissing the ground like Revenon before his battle with Sickle <laughs> Fuck with me I'll put you in the dirt, bitch You're like a Mexican peso Cause Puerto Rico won't accept you And over here you ain't worth shit <laughs> You should feel honored Just to stand by Cam And if you was looking to battle somebody better than you Trust me, Am I am Time Look Real talk, I think homie is trash. So I'ma make sure I got this mix of Omarion and Joey Jahad in my scope when I blast. I throw in the mag and smoke his grill. My gun is like a fire alarm, cause once I pull it, you know the drill. <laughs> homie, that thing fires, but it'll pop flares. When the eight spinning, it'll leave his face missing like massage chairs. Ooh! So if you wanna ride, then act silly. I'ma cock back, get Q45 like Rap City. Ooh! Every round I attack, that's why I got this novice shook. The fuck kind of outfit is that? This is not the proper stock, then look. But when I bang it and clap, it'll break you in half and have your legs coming out of your back like Dr. Octopus. <laughs> See, when my weapon is cocked and the scope's out, I'm gonna leave you in the hospital laying next to the dock like a boathouse. Ooh. Yeah, I got a clip for this cocky bitch. Shotty spit and make your body flip like Ozzy Smith. Ooh. Now wait, I don't shoot guns or kill people. So speak on those terms, I don't really have a reason to. But with some delivery, metaphors, and wordplay, it made all that shit I just said seem very believable. <laughs> so it looks like QB's busted. Cause if I can make you believe a bunch of shit that I don't do, the fuck makes you think he does it? <laughs> Wondering why I was rapping about guns and how I shoot mad clips? I was just showing this faggot how easy it is to do that shit. Alright, yeah. yeah. right, that's cool, that's cool. Look. <laughs> See, my first yeah, verse was clever and true too. Cause I proved that a white boy from the burbs can do what you do better than you do. And you tried to back out of this battle, and it made you look so weak. It's like you juggling frozen rollers. You stay catching cold feet. <laughs> Let me tell y'all what this bitch lives like. See, his name's quantum physics, but when it comes to the numbers, you can't ever get shit right. So when you say you hustle in the field, quit it, homie, how? When the place this faggot stays, it's like a batting cage. Ain't no real pitching going down. <laughs> so when you say you clipping keys and getting G's, it's nothing but lame gimmicks. Because without Cap's help, you couldn't afford a plane ticket. Wait a minute. I thought you was bumping Onyx in the Jag, but you really broke? No. Honest, this is sad. He's giving off that pussy smell. He took that out of chronic and he mad. So I'm going to take that faggot back to stock in the bag. See, I don't care if you handling krills or blaming you still. Bring your crew, I use my cannibal skills to get your family killed. That boy Cameron and Zell are living Amityville, giving people food for thought like a Hannibal meal. <laughs> See, in videos, you hustle and cut bricks. You bucking the snub quick. Then you hear his music, and it's nothing but club shit. <laughs> So hate for your songs is something that I can't help feel Cause everything you write is meant for bitches like Danielle Still Ooh. And fuck your hype man, I don't need no crew After this we'll consider grind time to be improv Cause there won't be no cue Ooh. Look, here's the tip See I came here to prove to people you whack as shit and you called the wreck and requested this battle, bitch. So when you're wondering why I murdered you so bad, just remember that you asked for this. See, I did what I was supposed to in these verses and bars, and that's expose you for the person you are. I mean, I could have came here and said I clapped the tool and shoot with the foe. That'll put Q in a hole like I scratched and pulled. <laughs> but I'm a real MC, and that's the type of shit that you generic-ass rappers do. See, the fans make him out to be so smart and intelligent with his bars, but the only thing amazing about about your verses is how irrelevant they are. Woo! You just do shit with people's names and then mention that your banger's dumping. So I guess you're the rhyme mime of grind time because your whole shit is based off of saying nothing. <laughs> and you got a 
that clique full of cheerleaders that just love to sing along. S-O-N-S, AKA the entire cast of Bring It On. <laughs> and I heard and I heard you were parting ways with them. How'd this happen? Because if they don't come to your battles, that cancels like 90% of your crowd reaction. <laughs> well, put your seat belts on, because I'm fixing to fucking wreck them and hit them with such aggression, this click will be hushed in seconds. All right. Sit them in front of seven, I'm sending them up to heaven, your time's up. A ground roll double couldn't get you another second. <laughs> You ain't got a mean regime, and the only bullets that your team has seen involve Steve McQueen. <laughs> Yo, he claims he's marching out with crooks, and that they'll bring them things at you. But when shit goes down, QPZ's in the precinct, talking to the books like McCully and the Page Master. <laughs> See, I drop bars to leave your thoughts scarred, and the reason he says easy at the end of his verses is because they're not hard. <laughs> So all that bullshit about you popping clips can settle. Cause you like Jubilee, one of the few in your crew that's not equipped with metal. <laughs> See, I'ma leave you with a broken neck. Cause I ain't got no respect for some Abercrombie wearing midget who probably weighs a buck thirty soaking wet. Q, I'm done with you. Cause by now this crowd's gotta be convinced that this white dude is running through Rudy Huxtable. <laughs> I'm on my VIP shit, you hate seven, but I don't see why he spit. He ain't reppin', you actin' so glorious, but you're notorious for being a B.I.G. bitch, like Faith Evans. Ooh. I'm putting a stop to your lifespan, cause when it comes to the rhymes, fam, you like Corey and Avocado, you gon' always be behind Cam. <laughs> I prove he's too weak. Mr. Seven, the dude's great. A new breed of Bruce Lee. Two words to describe 24, fucking raw. QP, who's he? You not welcome in my state. You need to leave. I'd like to welcome Officer Hoyt to his training day. <laughs> but this one don't involve Denzel, Snoop Dogg, or Macy Gray. This one involve me beating your ass. There ain't no games to play. I got good D. You trying to drain a J. It's only right I'll make you fade away. Whoa. Now with the shit you've made today, ain't no way you making cake. So quit hip hop and get a real job. If that ain't for you, at least do it for your baby's sake. <laughs> Cause all your songs are fucking garbage. Anything with this bum on it or always be uncharted. We should make this hate to change his name to Nathan Drake. Now I'm gonna let these haymakers rain until you ain't awake. The best apology in the world couldn't save your face. Whoa. You wanna know why it took you so long to get a battle with Cam for? It's cause I'm the landlord. I know at any given time I could take your place. <laughs> When we speak of the best, he shouldn't be a dude we mention. I mean, who we kidding? We both 4 no, but you've been squeaking by, and I've been lighting up the field like QB vision. Oh! See, I came to prove you're useless. And if your album dropped, Randy Johnson's real estate agent couldn't help you move a unit. Oh, Homie, you ain't pushing MP3s, you MTV. Because everything you stand for ain't got shit to do with music. Oh! See, he chose to battle me, and that key mistake's costing, dude. You 4-0 on the road, and you really won't be able to stop after I beat the brakes off of you. Oh. Ah. <laughs> now, I know this battle shit's a sport, and he's the rapper they support. But how the fuck did I go from QP to the Vlasic Pickle Stork? <laughs> 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 He'll give you head for money and suck your dick for a little amount. Whoa. So I guess his job as a stork ain't the only time he got kids in his mouth. Oh. And I know you ain't making no cake when you look like the white dude that worked with Martin at the radio station. <laughs> It died. Lo and behold, the wickest guy from District 9 is still alive. Yo. Yo, and the fact that you have a kid is in my brain's biggest of struggles. I'm just trying to figure out where you actually found a chick that was willing to fuck you. 
I mean, homie, I'm not trying to play a hate, but it's safe to say it must be hard to get a bitch with that rapist face. <laughs> <laughs> And I bet you a lot of kids tease your son, seeing as how you can't drop him off in front of the school because you're not allowed within 500 feet. <laughs> <laughs> See, I know the type of sick shit that he's about. Only reason you had a kid is so when you feel like molesting something, you don't have to leave your house. <laughs> Randy Marsh could take camera part? I don't think so. He told Graphic he put four on his back like Lennon and give him wings like McCartney. But not with me, bro, because you'll die like George when I lay the beat down with my hands like Ringo. Yo, I'm going to send this sucker home with a bloody nose. And after I get the win, y'all can give the check to him so he can actually buy his son some clothes. Oh. Yo, it's starting to seem like I murder dudes with whatever I say. And I don't give a fuck what his record is. Skill-wise, y'all should have brought me somebody better today. You see, it's like the Patriots versus the Lions. That's an easy win, a waste of my time. But I don't get upset and dismay. I just show up and do work, because that's who the fuck I'm scheduled to play. You see, my flow, electrifying. Something to get that heart beating. His flow, boring as fuck. Something to help you start sleeping. See, this is what you call beasting. I can't believe this is a battle that y'all called even. The fuck were y'all thinking? You see, if you're looking for something nice and peaceful, I'm not the guy to speak to. Everything I write is evil. But I'm gonna start calling you Will Ferrell. Cause you a funny dude, but we can expect the same shit every time we see you. <laughs> You gon' call your opponent a faggot and say he likes to take dick from different males. Or maybe say some racist shit based on a stereotypical scale. Well, all that's fucking corny, cause every one of your verses reminds me of the Rapunzel story. They all based off of fictional tales. Ooh. Caustic's dope. I can't believe y'all happily say that when half of this lame's raps come from Madness and Frank Stacks. When I'm packing this straight crack, this faggot remains whack. You rap to create laughs, and I actually state facts. So if you think we the same, then he got you deceived. You just comparing pool holes to A-Rod, because we both got similar stats, but you are not in my league. Whoa. You ain't been the same since Topper and Satire Mercer. Since then you've been drowning. Well today is that time that you get baptized further. Every one of these cat's eyes is gonna witness how bad I hurt you. And you're just gonna be another whack guy that I murder. This dude gets sent to the back of the line at Mickey D's. And this fat guy pulls out a mag type burner and grabs a member of the staff like, bitch, you better have my burger. <laughs> You told Diz you was gonna murder me. Well, this fool better back it. Or Private Powell's gonna get beat with bars worse than he did in Full Metal Jacket. They said coming to Cali, I'll be treading on sacred ground. But after I break you down, I'ma turn this bitch to a vacant town. So you can be friends with everybody that makes this crowd and be singing their favorite sounds. You can even change your name to Stephen King, but you still won't make it, clown. <laughs> See, I'm bringing something new when I come fighting. But you got a style that many others use. This chump's biting. And that's why this born loser calls himself the Stormtrooper. Because there's a million other dudes just like him. <laughs> Homie, you're so fat, you probably use a rake as a salad fork. But then again, who the fuck am I kidding? You obviously don't eat salad. <laughs> I bet you your B.O. smells like Nutter Butters Standing there looking like the motherfucker that Harry and Lloyd killed with rat boys in a dumb and dumber Y'all say this chump's nice, I don't care, his cup size is so rare Bitch, I bet your blood type is, oh yeah <laughs> Gets the guy you should call captain, but you average at best. That's why you should stop rapping. Your swag is a mess, what you rap isn't fresh, and the back of your neck looks like the side of a log cabin. <laughs> <laughs>
He reverses in a rock group, trying to give heavy metal a chance. You can catch him before shows, guitar pressed to his hand, testing the amps, getting ready to jam. You the lead vocalist, right? I got a question then, fam. If your fat ass is always at the front of the stage, then how the fuck do you expect all your fans to be able to see the rest of the band? Hey, he needs burritos, tacos, and nachos. He can't ever just cook rice. I should put your mother in a permanent coma, just so you'll know what the fuck a vegetable looks like. Hey, he says I don't freestyle. That's something you should never try, jerk. Next time you want to rock a vest and tie, you should probably exercise first. Look, and I like your name. That shit's cool and creative, bro, but it seems like the one thing you can't reverse is your win to lose ratio. You told phrases that he lost so much to Cali that the state shape was starting to form into an L, but I guess at this point, that would apply to you as well. <laughs> Homie, it's like you take a loss for every verse that you spit. Satire, Topper, 90M, and the murderous Diz all left for verse in a ditch. Last battle of the bay, you got murked by a Brit. Now everybody refers to this kid as Ur's little bitch. <laughs> See? We both spit it proud, we love getting loud, and we quick to shout. The difference is, I took the winning route. And I think it's funny you like to diss the South, cause in order for this to take place in public, I had to wait for Rugged to shit you out. Oh. Y'all yeah. can hear me out there? Yeah, yeah. Right. See, hopping in the ring with Cameron is pure hell. That leads to funerals, the families jamming the church bells. You trying to go 6 and 0? Well, I'm here to make sure that plan doesn't work well, because I won't be letting you borrow the lifestyles of the poor and dangerous when I hand you that first style. Mm. So bring the body bags in, because I'm about to put them under covers. Damn, you old motherfucker. Congratulations on being the first 30-year-old up-and-comer. <laughs> Yo, you 5 and 0 still ain't considered a threat. And when it comes to the throne, you claim to be the heir. Bender, but nobody's caught Wendy you yet. Oh. See, at this stage of your life, there's nothing to go get you, chubby and broke bitch. So tell me, how the fuck are you starting with no ends? I'm coming to smoke him. Got my cattle gun for this cow. Hit a show him. This ain't no country for old men. Oh. Oh. See, you'll get smacked with both hands. It ain't all breezy. So get with the program and take off. See, Free said he was out from home improvement, but I think he's more like Mr. Wilson, because we won't ever see this old man's face on TV. Oh. Yo, and you'll never headline at the shows when we see you. You might as well walk around with a big pair of scissors and red ribbons, because all you do is open for people. Oh. <laughs> Yo, I'm 21, you 29, and you battling me. You would have thought these hints would have helped. See, if you clown on me, because the way I'm at in the game, you're basically just dissing yourself. See, this is a tragic end. I had to come and put a plug on this spastic bitch. And me and Organic already signed your DNR, so there ain't no coming back from this. Wow. Hey, yo. <laughs> so me and this dude went to a bachelor party. <laughs> Neither one of us left with the subtle fill. See, I felt teased because I had to watch a stripper take off everything but her heels, and he felt teased because the cake she jumped out of wasn't real. <laughs> Yo. That's true. Hey. You sing the subway song when you do your laundry. <laughs> hey. And hum the McDonald's theme as you fold your shirts. Bitch, I bet you got a poster with a hamburger helper glove that you high five every morning before you go to work. <laughs> <laughs> I, forgot, I, forgot. Yo, see when my lyrical automatic pops, you hear another casket drop. Did anybody else find it ironic that a couple events ago, Organic got Earthquake to battle Aftershock? <laughs> So you really need to vacate, because if anybody ever called you fat, they were referring to your waist shape. You look like you've gained weight every day since age eight. This motherfucker's so big, he tried to use a slap bracelet, and it just stayed straight. <laughs> I'm starting to think you're a part of a never-ending eating game. B 
Being overweight is going to be a cause of death. You're like the human version of Aaliyah's plane. Ooh. Yo, you getting real loud, I'll calm you down like a Ritalin pill. This fat man's the opposite of Jay-Z, so he would never skip on a meal. <laughs> and even if you predicted my fat jokes or tried to rebuttal them, the fact remains that you still have double chins and have never seen the inside of a fucking gym. Yo, and the reason I use so many fat jokes inside my rims for the competition is just to prove this dude's rap in the U.S. is like his diet plan, non-existent. <laughs> now, see they say we're similar and both dope with the puns, but really you ain't close to me, son. See, your delivery is overly done. And I like your punchlines and syllables, but when most of the ones you use have nothing to do with your opponent, it's dumb. But since you want to rap like that, let me show you how it's supposed to be done. Oh. See, I never play seven reins like six plus one horses being forced to use the neck for breaks. I'll take you to a Dexter stays in the Everglades, introduce your neck to blaze, now look at the mesh you made. Oh. See, homie, I don't use Maddox, and I ain't got the tool blasting. But I won't hesitate to use a blade, so you better be cool, faggot. Cause I'll grab a big knife, stab his windpipe, make that shit slide down and leave his insides out like the Fresh Prince in school jacket. <laughs> Look, see, see, I had to get him in the dot and bring the wall to this cat and put a bender in a box like a contortionist act. <laughs> Rap. You get a sense the name is popular. Hit the stage, soon as we get in the cage, I'm rocking you. Put Cameron on blast, I get after and I spaz and cancel your ass. Like the mother renegades from Ottawa. Oh. Really? Nobody? I feel it, I feel it. Right. Y'all about to see Captain Spaulding take a long vacation. You'll never find him. Boy, I'm a collector's item. I'm not to play with. My operation oh, is chopping shit. patience. It's not a game. I got the same occupation as Dr. Satan. Oh. See, this is murder. I take lives. Son's next to get his shit cut. Entering my war zone, you get turned to a brake light because one step will get you lit up. Woo! See, I'm a proud ramen soldier. Your career's been going long enough. It's about time it's over. I'm Michael Keaton, you Christian Bale, meaning I'm the original, and you just a carbon copy that gets outshined by jokers. Oh. Yo, and if the judges try to say I ain't get personal with this shit, I got on his career, age, weight, and completely shitted on him with his own style. How much more personal could it get? Yo! Yo! Hold it down, yo! I don't think you understand what type of trap that your president done set you on. And with a voice that high pitched, I wouldn't be surprised if your bloodline pumped estrogen and peppermints. <laughs> One thing you've never been is relevant. So you think you nice as fuck, and you might be up to level six, but you ain't on that seven shit. <laughs> See, I took a couple L's that they were questioning, and now I'm back, better than I ever been. It proved that what my rapping means to the battle scene is the same as what Gretzky meant to Edmonton. Let's go! See, I had a couple of losing rounds, but I'm back up on my ruthless style. I gotta show y'all just what it is exactly that I do to clowns. I will go elbow deep in your bitch, get a hold of them fallopians and pull them out, and then walk up into the crowd and start passing tubes around like a hoop around. Oh! I won't hesitate to put a boot to this guy's jaw, watch him vegetate in the juice till his life's gone. And then Cam will be killing everybody on his family tree just to separate him from his roots like dice roll. See, I don't need a higher education to provide an explanation as to why this featherweight is gonna die for testing greatness. And if this guy is getting caked, then we gonna ride to where he stays, and I'ma find his checks and take him like an IRS invasion. You don't like it and you hate it. Think I'm biting, just be patient. Cause I'm just proving that I can still make statements even when I rhyme with Bender's cadence. Oh. And when I see this guy, I'm getting angry cause his rhymes are just a basic example of why I gotta spend the rest of my life being ashamed of my entire generation. Oh. I'm snuffing haters, say hello and then greet you with a fist. 
fuck a battle. I'm only here to suffocate y'all with the pillow. Y'all been sleeping on me. <laughs> now, if you saw the blog that was made by this fucking midget, <laughs> you would have seen a couple of his friends, a bunch of children, and some ugly bitches. <laughs> talking shit about me. And out of everybody in it, I noticed that only one of them was one with skin of a colored pigment. So that proved to me something that this chump can't hide. Not only does he sound like Eric Cartman, but he also hangs out with nothing but kids, hermaphrodites, and one black guy. <laughs> about me too, but you really need to stop because you were never really the champ, you just kept that chain moving like a sprocket does. Oh. Oh. Hey. Oh. And both of y'all are from the 905, right? It's real clear where your home is, but whenever y'all step in this ring, y'all embarrass Hamilton worse than Sirius Jones did. Oh. See, you took Arcane's style and ran with it. Cause when you didn't rap like him, no one listened before. So I guess he's like Wesley Snipes and Demolition Man. Had to use another man's vision for you to get through the door. Yeah. See, I eat MCs, but no calories gain. And now you trying to come after my name? I permanently take you out your comfort zone and make you spend the rest of your career out of your lane like Alice in Chains. I hit him up with that switch. Dagger a blade on some picture and picture shit and split half of his frame. And I got some team snipers that are automatic with aim. So when I say you should cease fire, I ain't talking about the Calgary Flames. And you're done. There's nothing you can actually gain. I think somebody needs to tell your daddy Arcane that the little faggot he trained needs his battery strings. <laughs> to explain why this rapper is lame. How ironic, all he does is wear Echo, and everything he says sounds exactly the same. <laughs> you look like you're stuck in your dwarf or midget phase. <laughs> you were really gay, many came. Why'd you enter in this fam? You've got the voice of Ricky Lake, Piglet's face, and Winnie shape. You're quite the mixture of a man. So you trying to kick it, but you can't. Your rhymes are ridiculously planned. You're just another victim willing to lose his life for spitting it with Cam. But see me and my riders pillaging the land. It's a murk fest. I'm up in the bird's nest sniping anything I can. We all down if we have to get the weapons. But if you want to scrap to this shit and settle, call me Axel from Twisted Metal. I'm twice as willing with the hands. I don't know why you want to test this. I am on some next shit. Violent and aggressive. Try and get your head split. You rhyme to be accepted. But I'm like a bike rack when I rap. Cause my bars are only meant for the riders to connect with. I say what I feel on that underground tip And no matter what the preference of each judge or crowd is I ain't dumbing down shit And if y'all wondering why I use a lot of personals to shut them down with It's cause I'm still trying to figure out exactly who the fuck this clown is I don't know why y'all would put him on a pedestal This dude is weak Why would I have respect for some featherweight whose resume is about as credible as my losing streak? One thing I do know is he's undefeated, but his battles haven't got the views. So it's safe to say when it comes to your style, the fans are not amused. And since you just got rolled through, we'll just call you Frank the Tank from old school. Cause your streak is coming to an end before anybody follows you. Yeah. I'm getting a little abstract with the rapping now, so this may take a few views to catch what I rap aloud, cause I ain't changed for you dudes. And I know you think that I'ma talk about your kid, but I'll just ignore the fact that you have a child in the same way that you do. Now, I ain't request this match. She sketched his ass. I said yes, but your division is weak if you're the best it has. And if I catch his ass slipping, I'll let this jab hit him and stretch this cat quicker than one of his flex fit hats. Listen. Oh. Looks like you're next in line, fucker. Easy meal. You seven's light supper. You're either Lex Luthor's extra white brother or just a grown-up version of the baby from the Nevermind cover. Oh. <laughs> now go ahead and talk about my last battle, how I was fussing and bitching. 
That's how it is when you're accustomed to winning. And the entire staff apologized on behalf of the judge's decision. So I ain't just talking about that fifth voter when I say that something was missing. Yeah. You see, that battle was a hoax, but Cameron ain't gonna switch lanes. Matthew isn't dope, they ain't aware of him or his name. I'm feeling like I just became Triple H, cause even with my back against the ropes, y'all will still anticipate my spit game. Oh. Oh. Yeah. You better hope God sends a hundred damn angels. I'ma leave it looking like the son of Sam came through. This is promo, so when it's done and Cam slayed you, a biased crowd and bullshit judges can't save you. Hey. He was saying some shit, and you respect it like it's all heavy. Copyright like Peter Nelson. If you actually listen to Peter Nelson, you know he said that already. Wow, uh, true story, thank you. But uh, yo, no more games. This is playing Merc season. Seems like you constantly spit the same verse, he's just a crook. So I'ma take a page from his book and change your feelings and use it to prove to y'all that it ain't worth reading. Like your girl's a smut, but you call that slut your highness. But she's took so many nuts, she's gotta have a fucking virus. Cause that, cause that nasty rug is like a batting glove. It was made to grip wood and have hands shoved inside it. Oh! And I heard some dudes from around the way at a bukkake with your fat mom. She sat in the middle and had dudes coming from all sides like it was Marvel versus Capcom. Oh. Now wait a minute. Y'all really gonna react like that shit's dope? Just cause I called his mama slut and said his girl's badge is a bit gross? I guess the shock value makes you scream and laugh off an of impulse and overreact to the simple and painfully average shit. So that's why this is promo. Cause I know that's how this shit goes. And I ain't want the same thing to happen as when I battled that bitch dose. Yeah. Yeah. Get no mom faggot and dick jokes, cause I take it back to when battling was about good rapping and insults. Yeah. 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 But you depend, you depend on these party crowds, cause Matthew's a big joke, just like 90% of the content is packed into his prose. See, in these people's minds, they think you lie, but it seems to me that every time you speak, you lie. That's why I'm treating this liar like some trip wire and staying a step above him to avoid his see through lines. Did y'all hear how many name flips he came with? On the phone, you told me that every angle Doe said was lame, bitch, then why are you standing here doing exactly the same shit? I don't know why Sketch would get this to go down. I guess he thought you were sick and such. Now you getting killed in your hometown and demolished up in the dust. Your writings are a joke, clown. You're awful. Just give it up. Ubiquitous is dope now. You lost to him when he sucked. Oh. Yeah. See, see, Matt ain't what he seems. His cadence and schemes are a disgrace to y'all's greatest MCs and any other Canadian league. But I'm the one bringing change to the scene. Peep my name, homie, it's nothing for me to handle a daily routine. Uh -huh. See, one thing you've never been is creative, but to them you're amazing, so when you spit it, they praise it because they get it, it's basic. <laughs> but when I put my pen to the paper, it's in the intricate nature, as if my writings were taken straight out of Emerson's pages. Ooh. You think you can make it? Well, bitch, you're mistaken, because I live in a nation where this shit was created. Hey, I snatched ooh. a hi-hat off a drum kit, Throw it and decapitate this punk bitch yeah. just to show him the true meaning of symbolization. Yeah. Yeah. See, I'm, see, I'm a literature major, so I read more than D-Lord. The road of success ends with death. This is the detour to meet yours. I scoped out every exit. Why at each door with C4? I'm a general daily. Why would you seek war with me for? Ooh. I'm taking the same approach. Just added a little flow to that. Promise that there won't be no more holding back. I will throw his ass through a window, give his neck a quick slit with the broken glass, and proceed to roll up mat like I just finished a yoga class. First round, I'ma build his grave. Then throw this bitch down the hole. And start stomping him down. He'll go so far in ground that y'all could get a hundred shovels in a crane lift. Reunite Oasis and cop that last disc that they sold. And all that put together still won't be able to dig out your soul. Now that's one of the only three name flips I got for you. Cause I took, cause I took this UK trip to body you. I make fists, I break chins, I'ma hurt him and inflict pain when I drop this fool. So no Hawaiian nurses when he gets 
laid in a hospital. You don't deserve this match. Peep the view counts and you'll see. But the fact that anyone has watched your battles is astounding to me. <laughs> See, this guy needs to die. I might be from grind time battling and don't flop, but you the one that's way out of your league. I'm game if you want beef. I creep up on you while you and your mom's ride at a stoplight and hit you with that blade that the blood leaks. Just to prove to this little clown that you ain't gotta be Ben Affleck in the town to get slain in the front seat. So I'm about to check. A little computer geek who thinks he can out rhyme me, now I'm vexed. You spend every second of your life online, this clown's a mess. You like Dick Grayson's parents, you would die without the net. <laughs> every battle, you gotta put your pride up to the test. Dropping lines like, ain't you guys ever impressed? <laughs> but when you compare this cat swagger to the rest of the wag rappers, it's a perfect parallel. So that's probably why your lines never connect. <laughs> You bitch your style from B.A., so if battling ever makes you a check, treat that shit like a funeral and make sure you pay your respect, faggot. Uh, yo. Knock, knock. I'm at your door asking what you acted for. You don't make music, so why take on the battle form? I can't stand you faggots that do matches for the actor's sport. I've seen all of your battles, but I've never heard you rap before. You're a poser, not a real MC. Bitch, you ain't equipped to paint a picture, so you Photoshop your imagery. Homo, stop, you're killing me. Your punchlines are dope, but you got Sharon's mannerisms and a RoboCop delivery. <laughs> Today I'm on that seek and destroy business, cause I ain't come to toy with them. And judging by that chipped tooth, I can't tell if you avoid dentists or you like having the same smile as Lloyd Christmas. <laughs> we'll pretend this is dumb and dumber. So listen, if you're Lloyd, then the fans must be that handicapped Billy kid. Cause if they claim they felt what you gave them, it's only cause they have the ability to see it for what it really is. The dullest writing. Spend most of your time just multi rhyming, sell them punches, but I'm throwing strikes as if I'm Nolan Ryan. Your name don't hold weight, ain't got an ounce of soul inside them. Faggots like you are the very reason that the culture's dying. So I guess I'll have to. Fuck off! Really? So I guess I'll have to. Teach him to flow while sinking his boat, but keep him afloat so he can hear what I've spoke. These things I need you to know, no purpose in life. How deep could he go? We could go up to heaven and get Ralph Emerson to meet with the row, and neither would know the meaning of soul. Ooh. Now I wrote this verse to far sides passing me by to prove that rap is what I am too damn smooth with. And that's how it goes. The reason I had to attack with the flow is just for the simple fact that I know that you can't do it. <laughs> Yo, what do I bring when I attack you? D-Day violence, I leave them split in 30 sections. I'm ruthless and that's a fact. But strictly speaking of these raps, you remain silent. You need to quit, this nerd has never made music or an album track. Now indeed I got him rattled, cause he ain't lying. You peep this shit, you'll learn in seconds that I'm proving that this clown's an act. Cause if he ain't got a battle, then he ain't writing. He's a fingerprint on a murder weapon. Useless without a match. <laughs> Get a definition of what a bachelor is. Not because you fuck the baddest chicks, but because when it comes to this rapping shit, you're just an undergraduate that ain't got enough to master it. Wow, y'all are fucking sleeping, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll say something funny. Y'all want me to freestyle some shit? <laughs> Bucky, your mom's yeah. fat as fuck. You can even say she's large as life. I saw her outside getting a wash. Wasn't a car in sight. <laughs> <laughs> Back to that shit, all right. <laughs> I put him in a headlock till his breath stop. Y'all think it's another instance where soul's choking. Till he loses all consciousness and his legs drop. No Hulk Hogan. I, st I start causing him max pain. Cut soul open to this cat's drain of everything in his damn frame. Then have Liam play it back on camera and watch him die in slow motion. <laughs> It's over. Somebody tell this man to watch his mouth. Cause you know that any punch that seven lands will knock him out. And you won't go to heaven, fam. Hell is where you set the land. I'm putting soul in the devil's hands. I'm Dr. Faust. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, I wish
my soul would try tempting me. I'm throwing nice instantly. You get a spear in your fucking crown. Say goodnight, fella. It's little prototype's history. Cause this ain't no overnight shit to me. I put years in the underground like a wine cellar. <laughs> you put together massive strings of average schemes like that shit's an accomplishment. Them bitch, like they never react to me. I'm gonna pack and leave, I wanna quit. Well, a sense of reality is what this faggot needs, so I got a tip. Don't complain about the battle scene when you're exactly what's wrong with it. Yo, yo, see when I'm in the ring, I'm clever. That little Fresh Prince handshake was the only time these two have ever clapped anything together. <laughs> Listen, now, I'm about to slay this cat so damn easy. I was gonna leave sooner, but they were saying that my fans need me. I wore a Bruins shirt my last trip. Y'all were saying that you can't feel me till I put this old man on ice and show you why my pops named me after Cam Neal. <laughs> now, I told y'all this weekend I would eat through them. No CDs. Only thing that I'm releasing is the beast within. So tell me, people, is it sinking in? I'm why he stepped back in this ring, and I'm gonna be the reason that he leaves again. Because I am. Too far beyond Kumar, you're soft. You get foobarred and tossed in a U-Haul. The cause of the U-Haul is to prove to y'all this fraud should remove all belongings and move on from all this. Uh. Now I'm a flawless marksman. So if he starts to talking, y'all call up Leslie Nope. Let her know she's got a problem. Cause if I catch time while he's on the job with Ronald Swanson, I am locking arms and rocket launching the whole parks department. Uh. My team breeds villains, so try it if you think we kidding. Get a knife in your forehead to let you know that we mean business. We leaving deep incisions until we see things dripping. Keep his top with a loose seal like one of BB's Gibsons. Uh. Now I heard he was a killer, but I'm not sure. Feel me when I say this, man. I'm in it if you want war. Once my squad sits you in a hospital, you will be sleeping next to patients like Bender when he's on tour. Oh. <laughs> now you one of them old heads, and I don't like y'all do. You walk around like some bishop at a church trying to drop knowledge saying you despise our youth. Well, I got juice. So this ain't that Tupac movie from 1992 when y'all see this bishop fall. Right on cue. Oh. Uh. Let's go. Uh, I like, I like. <laughs> Hold it down. <clears throat> Yo, I like that he did a, a little impression of me because I got an impression of him. Okay. okay. It's Hindu, every Hindu Kush verse right here. <laughs> <laughs> we got ties with the Yugoslavian and Mexican mafia. <laughs> they comparing us to the best of the conquerors. You need weapons to cop? Should we never go shopping? Cause our weapons get brought to the Czechoslovakia. <laughs> Boo! No. <laughs> Nobody cares about the shipments you get from countries with long names. <laughs> My old joints, my old joints would shit on your new ones, cause every one of your songs lame. And since y'all treat them like royalty, I guess I'm the kid at the summer camp that dunked on LeBron James, cause I could embarrass this king with just one of my lost tapes. I don't get this guy's tactics. First you pitch white and package bricks and we're gripping nine smacking kids participating in all types of different crimes, stacking chips. Then against Quake, you say you want to inspire the children's minds as if this bitch decided to switch his life and become a civil rights activist. <laughs> well pick a side, faggot, and quit intertwining fact and myth. Cause you getting out of this alive is as likely as Pesci reading War and Peace, memorizing every chapter and then reciting that 60 times back at the speed of which Twister rhymes without one slip up while rapping. <laughs> and by the way, that song with Royce is hot. But without Royce, it's not. <laughs> You're a fucking lawyer. So that shit is absurd to hear you say, tell the district attorney, this didn't concern me. Cause were you really in Hell's Kitchen, fixing the fish in the curry, or at a desk in your office working on your best pitch for the jury? Oh. Now, they said Osa was playing with strong rims. He's the Canadian Walt Whitman. I told him, save it, he's overrated. All he does is make claims that he's not living. You're just a lawman whose writing basis is all fiction. You're basically John Grisham. Oh. Now, straight up, now. Oh. 
One haymaker to shoot this fake lane through the roof. Put him in space at Pesci yelling mayday to the troops. And when he lands, give his fam like eight days to recoup and bury this little faggot in his gray alien suit. Yo, he keeps calling me a bike rack. <laughs> you better watch that shit, clown. Cause your girl's pussy's the real bike rack. Cause I roll up in it slow and lock that shit down. <laughs> Yo, rhymes, delivery, and flow. The three basic things we were all taught when we became MCs. And after that, it was up to you to improve creatively. Now you're supposed to aim to be original and change the scene by bringing something to the people that ain't been seen. But you copied an Outkast album for your cover. Way to be. Y'all constantly rap back and forth on that Styles and Jada Steez. Your songs don't connect and you rap about shit that's make-believe. Here's some advice. Play a beat. And depending on what that inspiration brings, homie, you can't be afraid to sing. And the reason, <laughs> and the reason that I say these things is because all your verses and your hooks sound the same to me. Do you know what cadence means? Because you never change your speed to switch it up and go with a different approach that's really getting old and play to me. Ooh. Why do y'all praise a team that ain't bringing the change we need and sound like every other underground rappers that only focus on wordplay and schemes? Oh. See, yeah. see, I'm the whole package. Huh? I got it locked from A to Z, but you J Electronica, you only exhibit from A to C. Ooh. Now, not, now, bro, now I ain't saying you whack it off, cause y'all wrap your asses off when you go back and forth. What I'm saying is you can't make classic songs when you're just rapping, dog. Uh. Y'all might as well be Tariq Trotter's protégés, cause I just passed y'all off as afterthoughts. <laughs> I know. There's a, a shit ton of bars in the rhyme books, but they turn southpaw when they putting out songs because the weakest part of the game is when they have to write hooks. Oh. Oh. Now, oh. Oh. Hold on. now, people hate what they don't understand. I'm that unlike spectacle. They so love to you, but what you do is nothing new. That's why the fuck I'm checking you. So when I hear that album title, I become quite skeptical. Cause how the fuck could you call your CD 3D when it's so one dimensional? Oh! 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 Yeah. Yo, he's right. I did ask him to edit them clips out. I figured I should try. It's not cause I was scared they think I was racist. Just because the camera wasn't on my good side. <laughs> you think I'm racist? You think that you would have to be blind? How could I be racist? I mean, come on. I've hung out with Nestle like three times. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, listen, Tim, you're a fake host in a battle groupie. You want to know what rhymes with fake host in a battle groupie? I don't know. Face soaked in disasters, Loogie? Oh. Yeah. Well, listen, your actions reflect the only thing you value is attention. You think the shit we say is just entertaining. You've confused battling with wrestling. So when they start coming at you with aggression, don't go asking where the ref is. It was over as soon as he walked in. Bro, man, from Martin, his entrance was actually the exit. Wow. WRCs, you were throwing tantrums in the hallway. I turned the volume down and just laugh at you in Ark's face. Bring it up now, you put him back into that dark place. An angry Nas fan just rambling about the lost tapes. <laughs> Yo, and why are your eyes so big? You look like they put you in that clockwork orange chair to watch your lame ass rounds, and when they took the clamps off, your eyelids never came back down. <laughs> Yo, but y'all remember when this DF dude did that DX move? You know, the shit 12 year olds and rejects do? <laughs> Organic was your connect? Then he had to cheat check you and put an end to that bridge like KRS and his BX crew. Listen, 
You getting steamrolled and T.O. when I put that ego on recline. He owes me for anything he thinks he knows because C wrote the design. Control your thoughts like I got a cheat code for your mind. Olympic kayak team, I know how to keep rowing in line. Yeah. Listen, listen. And I said smack rappers were bad parents due to their skin shade. To the idiots who think I was being serious, here's where I prove I was just doing a piss take. He flies him out all the time to boost the views up on his page. So how can you all real cats be bad parents when every time I turn around, they put food on his kid's plate? Uh, this dude's still going with them old gimmicks. He brought up head lice and that British swag is just like head lice. Black people don't get it. <laughs> yes, yes. reputation is very different to mine. Yes. I'm known for what comes out of my mouth, not for what someone else is spitting inside. I mean, damn, I know disaster has some reach, but you shouldn't have to be sitting between two chains on a plastic seat to know if someone pushes you hard enough, you have to swing. Woo. I mean, growing up, growing up, what kind of lessons did your daddy teach? Son, if another man bitches you up, it's just the way it has to be. <laughs> Yo, I mean, you couldn't react, couldn't make words attached for speech, a striking similarity to how one has to be during an opponent's rounds while battling. See, this is why I had to leave. These battle geeks actually think the rules in here apply outside of the battle ring, and it's sad to see. Yo, Alex T, I'll take a false sense of reality for a thousand, please. See, on camera, he got his nose up, living like a lavish king. Every reaction from a fan's like a rose petal thrown at his feet. So when he gets off stage, he can't switch off that mentality. And when someone disrespects him in real life, this faggot thinks there's still a contract to keep something from happening. <laughs> Victory has defeated you. I'm Bane bringing Batman's back to me. Snap his spine, expose his foil brat's disguise, and I'm taking his mask with me. Now I see why Organic thought you'd be a perfect match for me. You think battle rap is self-titled, and I approach the battle scene with apathy. <laughs> Listen, because in real life, yo, in real life, you can't call on punchlines and rebuttals for help. But I guess when you use the battle world as your life's crutch, you tend to forget how to stand up for yourself. Oh. <sighs> All right. This is for anybody that's ever had a word from them. Yo, listen. See, if you want to be great, being honest is an obvious straight, as well as affecting those around you in a positive way. I think of Lincoln unlocking the chains off of all of them slaves, of Stephen Hawking not being able to speak or walk, but still dropping knowledge to date. You see, you want to be great, but the problem remains that when you get off of the stage, all you seem to garner is hate. Whether it's rappers not being paid, you turning your back on people to help don't flop, get his name. I mean, the more you say what you're not, the more we see you're not what you say. See, I still get emails from fans saying they were fighting addiction, and my music gave them the strength for them to finally kick it. I'm a teacher now, dedicating my life to the children, trying to provide them with wisdom. And I see them every day, poverty stricken. And the odds have been given a less than a win on a lottery ticket, but they still fighting the system. I tell them it's like Omar on a wire when he was locked up and they were trying to kill him, because those books are what's going to keep them from dying in prison. Yo, listen, and I ain't even trying to come off high and pretentious. Fuck rap. I'm trying to show you why there's a difference between us as men outside of this business. You're a spoiled brat 
And since birth, everything in life you've been given. You never had to struggle, never had to hustle and work a nine to five for a living. What you know about selling music but lacking profits? Busting tables in a restaurant, a second job working overnight stacking boxes. You don't know what it's like at a construction site, forming steel, cutting pipes, all weak flakes of concrete, your nose got you sneezing dust at night. I've done. I know the way you feel. That's why those that know me, yo, that's why those that know me say I'm real, and those that don't know you hate you still. Because there's a difference between a man who shows up to the table to fill his plate and a man who brings the place to fill. Yeah. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. And you told organic it was over for me. So there's a question I gotta ask you here. Even if you body me, Slaughter me, straight trash me here. What would you be ending? My rap career that's been over for the past few years? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. 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 Yo, you think the principal at the school I work at watches battles on the low? <laughs> And after I get home, he's gonna call me in his office like, due to the loss you took to this, you can't. <laughs> Due to the loss you took to this UK rapper no one knows, unfortunately, Mr. Buckles, we're gonna have to let you go. <laughs> listen, listen, point being, today, even your most valiant effort will be worthless. Cause I know there's nothing that can be said within your verses that would hurt me as a rapper or affect me as a person. Yeah.